So, after yesterday's terrible day at Four Mile Run, I'm gonna be here at the Loudon Pond that I've been fishing the last couple weeks. Day number 21, hopefully we can catch some fish today. It's about 9 a.m. Had a bit of a late start today. I don't feel burned out, but my body does. <laughs> All right, so I came back to this pond because I am very confident here. I believe that I can come here and catch fish. After yesterday, it's just what I needed to do. I only caught nothing yesterday, actually. Mm, that might have been a bite, yep. There we go. Hey, first fish of the day. I've been waiting for you, buddy. Whew. Nice little one pound chunk. Caught him on the black trick worm with a 3 16 ounce shaky head. All right, guys, while I don't expect to catch any giants today, you re never really know what's gonna happen. So you always wanna check your line. Right now, about a foot up my line, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's super rough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Probably take two or three feet off. Go ahead and retie. You always, always, always want to retie. All right, so there's two things about that fish we can talk about. One, that fish bit when the shaky head was just being dead sticked. I was just letting it sit there and I felt him pick it up on the slack line. And that's the second thing I want to talk about. You know, I've mentioned it a few times this week about getting bit on a slack line. <clears throat> that's what just happened. Something big right there just swirled on it. It's a good chance it was a carp though. There's a fish. Yep. All right, coming on the black with blue flake flapping hog. Not bad. Another one pound fish here. They're a little bit bigger than I've caught them in the past, which is nice. Boop. It's working, it's super slow. I didn't even feel a bite, I just saw my line taking off. It's got very, very sharp teeth. You know what? We're going to try a little rig that I've heard about, and I've actually had a little bit of success on it, too. We're going to throw the Ned rig. Just give it a little test out here, see what it does, since we're just having fun today. Let's give the Ned rig a go. From my understanding, this is the Ned rig. It's just a Senko or stick bait put onto a shaky head just like this. I fished this the last tournament when I just wasn't getting bit at all and it actually caught me a bunch of fish. They were just all short. I've never thrown it in a pond. I've only thrown it one time. So we're gonna see how it does out here today. Pretty deep out there. A bite. Yep. There we go. First cast on the Ned rig. Caught a fish. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. It works. <laughs> so, I know traditionally most people aren't going to fish finesse techniques on a casting rod, but right now my spinning rod is a little bit out of commission. I need to change the tip on it again. So today we are using the seven foot medium heavy zillion paired with 12 pound fluorocarbon. There we go. Fish number two on the Ned rig. I don't know if you noticed, but I was literally just letting this thing sit there. I mean, slowly, slowly popping it. I don't know. 
this thing works. I've caught three. So yeah, that's fish number four for the day. Two on the Ned Rig, one on a shaky head with a black trick worm, and one with a flapping hog on a shaky head. So something that's kind of cool about this pond is that it has a perimeter of like a little rock wall that goes around the whole entire pond. It's probably about 20 feet off the bank. And what's really awesome about that is I know that there are fish holding to these rocks. And while they might not be actively feeding, if I put this Ned rig in their face, they just can't help but eat it. And I'm just slowly pulling this Ned rig up the rocks and just kind of popping it a few times. And I'll just let it sit. Normally on the paws, and when I'm dead sticking it, is when they'll hit it. I'll feel the bite on a slack line, or I'll see my line just take off. I'm about to put a spinnerbait on and throw that around just to see if they'll bite it. There's a fish on the spinnerbait. All right. There's a bunch of small ones, but after such a tough day yesterday, I really, really am just happy to be catching fish. Hey. All right, guys, one of our subs is sending me to a private, or sorry, not private, but it's gonna be a secret pond, super close by here. So I'm gonna go check it out. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are at this new pond. It's pretty small, looking pretty good though. Hopefully we can catch a couple fish. Oh, there's a fish. Got him. Fish number one at this new pond. Little guy. Caught him on the Ned rig. Whew. Wow, he had the whole thing down his throat. Pond is super shallow. It's a little stained. That fish hit it on the fall. I don't know. It's probably only six feet out there. bite. He's on. Fish number two. Popped it off some structure out there. He smashed it. It's another little guy. big snake. That's it for me. Alright guys, it's been a fun day. I caught seven fish. I fished two different ponds. I caught fish on spinner baits, Ned Rig, Shaky Head. I tried to buzz bait a little bit, didn't get bit, but always got to throw that. Um, the fish were relatively shallow. I caught everything under, you know, six feet. So, tomorrow I'm fishing with one of my subs, Steven. So we're going to be fishing a lake out this way in Loudoun can't wait he says it's got some pigs and numbers so it's going to be a fun day thanks for watching like and subscribe and we will see you tomorrow